This week was one of the most difficult weeks I have had in a very long time. And I am not happy with how I have handled myself at all. In this week's video, I'm sharing what went down, where I went wrong, and what I'm going to do about it. Welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I have been sharing my weight loss journey here on YouTube since April of 2020. A very small and very free way for you to support me and my channel is go ahead and click that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a thing. If you turn on that little bell, it helps me even more and I really appreciate it. Appreciate everybody who's a returning subscriber too. This week I was laid off from my job with about 50 other colleagues. I had a feeling it was coming, so I really shouldn't have been shocked, but even having kind of the feeling that it was gonna happen didn't really soften the blow when it actually went down. I loved my job. And when I tell you I loved it, I mean I loved it. I have said it before many, many times. That job meant a lot to me. And I think it's easy to say like, oh, it's just a job, but it's just a job until it's not and you don't have it. I also really, really loved the team that I worked with and I'm super sad that I am not going to be working with those amazing individuals anymore. There's just a lot of sadness around this. I also loved the company that I worked for. I really, really supported the mission. And I really think that it's just the abruptness of it all. And, you know, even though I know it's just business, it's been really, really hard not to take it personal. And when I say abrupt, that is really truly how it went down. I was in the middle of drafting an email to a client and I got a message from my boss saying that uh, she needed to chat with me in 15 minutes. We had our chat and then I was just completely cut off from everything. So it was super like blunt and just you're done. It kind of felt like part of my existence was wiped out in an instant. It really, really came as like a shock to my system and I really didn't know how to feel or how to process it. The first thing I did, believe it or not, right after I went and talked to my husband, calmed him down from having a panic attack and then I was just like, I'm going for a run. And I did, I went for a run. I just felt like in that moment, that was the right thing to do. And I don't know if it was me trying to like run away from what had just happened or kind of run into it. Because a lot of times when I'm out there running, that's when I have, you know, clarity and I can think about things. It ended up being like a super messy run, even though like I was fine. It's kind of hard to run like with like, these sporadic outbursts of crying because I genuinely was really, really upset. I also let out a couple of those like really like guttural primal screams during that run. I think I was just really vocalizing my frustration when in the moment I didn't have the words for it. I just knew that I needed to physically be moving and just processing everything. I'm actually amazed nobody called the cops because I yelled so loud at one point, but uh, they didn't. So I guess that's a good thing. It did really help though to be distracted. I think I made the right decision in that moment to go do something physical where I have to like focus on my body and not be like all caught up in my head. So I'm glad that that was how I reacted in the actual moment. My bigger problem though is that I have absolutely been self-medicating with food and you know with vsg you can't eat a large quantity of food but you can still make less than nutritious choices of what you eat and so that's totally what i've been doing i've really been just kind of like over indulging in foods that do not support my weight loss goals and i've been very conscious about it and I don't know if that makes it better or worse, but it's like I am not doing it like I would do when I had 
been suffering really bad from binge eating, but it was still like, you know, I was doing it on purpose. I was doing it to numb pain. Frankly, I had this like IDGAF attitude about it and that was not a good thing for me mentally. And then also on the flip side of that, after four days of just eating off the rails, now again, not huge quantities, but not good food choices either, I started to physically not feel well. And so last night I was sitting on the couch and I was just like, I need to get myself in check here and really think about how I want to handle this because this, what I'm doing, here is not what I want to do to process my emotions. I even avoided the scale all week, but this morning I did finally bite the bullet and got on there and my weight was 162.4. Now I have been hovering in the like 157 to 160, so to see it go up a little bit, I was just like, whoa, pump the brakes, like this is not the direction I wanna be going and this is not gonna help me deal with my sadness. I've got to do something. And I'm also really disappointed with myself because I kind of feel like, you know, like I look in the mirror, I'm like, you haven't learned shit. You haven't learned shit. You are doing the same exact BS that you used to do when you were heavier. You're just doing it in smaller quantities. You're responding to a shitty situation with food and using food to cope. And that's something that I have not done in so long that I really felt like shocked that this was the way that I responded. So thinking about what I'm gonna do with it, I think I can look at this whole situation in really a more positive light. And what I'm gonna do after I film this video is I'm going to sit down, write out a meal plan for the next week or two. I've got nothing but time. So I can really focus in on like, what food choices I wanna have available to me, and then I'm gonna to stick to that meal plan because actually it just makes life easier. It's like one less thing to think about. And then also um, write out a new fitness plan. It's just something about physically like writing it out by hand that makes me feel good. I do that a lot. So I'm gonna write those out and then do everything in my power to stick to it. I can use the time that I have in between job searching to really focus in on my health and well-being, and both physically and mentally. And I think that's really what I need to do now. I've actually done a really good job today having control over my food choices. I've been a lot more conscious of it. I think I'm coming out of that like initial shock of what happened earlier in the week and I can process it now. And I have the, what's the word that I wanna use? I have the, I guess, foresight to see that I was gonna start going down a path of self-destruction that I do not want to go down. So right now I've got to just do my best stay positive and have kind of like a this too shall pass mindset because I know that I'll get another good job. I know that I will be fulfilled in my career and I know that any company is actually really lucky to have me. So I'm not too worried about that. I know I'll find another job. It's just the what happens in between that I guess scares me a little and I have to be okay with feeling a little scared and not just trying to like bury that down with food. That being said, if anybody has any leads on a good job out there, uh, my profession is customer success. In my last role, I was a digital customer success manager, meaning uh, instead of like an enterprise CSM where it's a one-to-one -one relationship with the customer, I translated those strategies to a one-to-many relationship. So being able to do things like email automation campaigns, I built very complex um, customer journeys and uh, customer plays using things like conditional logic to automate some of that. Um, I present webinars. I'm sure that will come as a surprise to a bunch of you that I do webinars and online training, lots of video content, um, and many of the things that I enjoy doing here on YouTube, I translate into my 
professional career as a CSM. So I'd like to find another role as a digital CSM. That's been really fun for me and I learned a lot in this last job that I loved so much. So if you hear of anything, uh, it doesn't have to be digital CS, but anything kind of similar, please send me a message somewhere, point me to the job. I am on the hunt. I do not want to be unemployed for very long if I can help it. I appreciate you all for watching this video. If you've ever gone through a layoff, how did you handle it? What was your reaction? Leave me a comment down below and I will catch you in the next one, hopefully with a much less depressing update. Bye.